Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Emmanuel Petit says he'd rather have Arsenal star Bukayo Saka than Osman Dembele. Arsenal icon Emmanuel Petit has claimed he'd rather have Bukayo Saka start for his side in attack than Barcelona and France winger Osman Dembele. The legendary Frenchman won the World Cup all the way back in 1998 alongside the likes of Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, Zinedine Zidane, and current Le Bleu boss Didier Deschamps. He has been speaking ahead of the 2022 World Cup and he has just made a big climb. France are the defending world champions and many feel they have a great chance to retain their title in Qatar. The likes of Kylian Mbappé and Griezmann started in Russia four years ago, while also Barcelona star Dembélé was in the squad. He didn't have much of an impact. However, the Frenchman has been in fine form in Spain this season and a lot is expected of him. He could be a star for Le Bleu in Qatar, but Petit says he'd much rather have Arsenal's Saka on his side. When asked by 90 Minute France to pick one of the two, the Frenchman said, I really like Bukayo Saka. I really like Osman Dembele too. It's true that Bukayo Saka, I actually love the boy. I love what he does on the pitch and I love his personality, so I'd rather have Bukayo Saka. Petit has upset many Arsenal fans with some of his opinions over the years, but this one will be welcomed with open arms by the Gunners supporters. Saka has been one of Arsenal's best players for over two years now. He is a world-class talent who has the quality and potential to become a top, top player in the coming years. Dembele is a brilliant player too, but injuries have been really cruel to him over the years. It looks like he has put those woes behind him now which is excellent news for France. It will be interesting to see how the two wingers will fare for their respective countries in Qatar. Saka's campaign begins on Monday against Iran and he will be hoping to hit the ground running. Arsenal could sell Cedric Shores in January. Arsenal could sell Cedric Shores during the January transfer window with Tutu Mirkato Web reporting that his agent has already spoken to Fulham about a potential move to Craven Cottage. It has been a frustrating season for the Portuguese so far. He has only made two appearances in the Premier League, with Mikel Arteta turning Ben White into an outstanding right-back. And surprisingly, there is a chance that he could leave the club when the window opens. Tutu Mercato Web reports that the Gunners defender is wanted by three clubs, as well as Fulham, Bayer Leverkusen and Villarreal, are also keen on the former Southampton man. In fact, it's a claim that his representatives have already held initial talks with all three sides. Cedric is a fantastic player, whose loss is likely be felt behind the scenes at the Emirates. Mikel Arteta lauded his efforts in a training last month, and he appears to be a player who helps push those ahead of him in the pecking order. But it also makes some sense to let him go in January. He is the third choice at right back and probably down in fourth, at least on the position flank. So should he stay, there is a very good chance that he will play little more in the second half of the campaign. He may be a smart signing for Fulham. Marco Silva has done an excellent job, particularly since the Cottagers sealed promotion back to the Premier League. Cedric would just bring that little more experience at the highest level. Fulham have also had Bobby the Crodova raid playing in that area on the pitch at times this season. Arteta may be wary of moving any players on while things are going so well, but in truth, it does appear that the Gunners may need one or two more marquee additions to really boost their hopes in the title race. Selling Cedric, therefore, may be something the club have to consider. Matt Turner says he is no longer injured and is ready to play again. Arsenal goalkeeper Matt Turner has told The Athletic that he is no longer injured and is ready to play again. Turner is yet to make his Premier League debut after making the £7.5 million switch from MLS outfit in New England Revolution over the summer. The 28-year-old has made four appearances in the Europa League so far, keeping three clean sheets in the process. The American shot-stopper was set to make his fifth appearance against PSV last month, but strained his groin while training on the morning of the clash. Turner hasn't featured it for Arsenal since, but ahead of representing the US at the World Cup, he is revealed that he is back to full fitness. Speaking to The Athletic, Turner said, 100% no limitations, smashing balls again, all good. 
it's a great to hear that Turner is back to full fitness and he is expected to be the first choice goalkeeper for Greg Berhalter's side over the next month. The Arsenal shot stopper should get the chance to impress Mikel Arteta during America's World Cup campaign. He is currently playing a backup role to Aaron Ramsdale and doesn't seem likely to change anytime soon. The Englishman has been in exceptional form for the Gunners and it's difficult to see Turner replacing him at this moment in time. But Turner will be delighted to have made it back time for the World Cup and he is seemingly back to full fitness ahead of America's opener against Wales on Monday. The shot stopper was devastated after missing the game against PSV last month and told The Athletic that he was close to tears after picking up the injury. Turner will be hoping to impress in Qatar before returning to North London and aiming to gain some more appearances in the Europa League. Arsenal youngster Charlie Patino wants to stay despite being linked with exit. Charles Watts claimed that Arsenal youngster Charlie Patino wants to stay at the club despite being linked with an exit. Patino is starting to really display his talent this season after only making two appearances for Arsenal under Mikel Arteta. The 19-year-old has scored twice and provided two assists for Blackpool in the championship, putting in some eye-catching performances along the way. His displays have led to him being linked with a move away from Arsenal, with Calcio Mercato reporting this week that Barcelona are admirers of the youngster. Despite the fact that Patino's deal with Arsenal is set to run until the end of the season, it seems the outstanding talent is keen to stay at the Emirates. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Charles Watts has provided an update on Patino's current situation in North London. He went on to say, the key thing for Arsenal now is being able to sort out his future because he is out of contract at the end of the season, he said. He does have that two-year option, which we all know about, for them to potentially take up to extend his stay by another two years. Charlie is happy at Arsenal, from what I know. He's been here an awful long time. He loves the club. He wants to have a future at the club. Watts also added that he feels Arsenal need to reward the youngster with an improved deal after his impressive form this season. Patino seems to be the next star to come out of the Hale and Academy after the likes of Bukayo Saka and Emile Smith-Rowe. The Gunners will be keen to tie him down with a new deal after his eye-catching displays for the Seasiders. The English midfielder will probably be encouraged by Saka's success too, as he will know that he could get an opportunity in the first team, provided he is at the required standard. Arteta has shown countless times that he is willing to give youngsters a chance to impress, and Patino will be hoping to make a big impact when he returns from his loan spell. But firstly, Arsenal will need to sort out his contract situation to avoid losing him to the likes of Barcelona. Arsenal ready to pay £17 million to land Danilo from Palmeiras. Arsenal are still in the hunt to sign Brazilian midfielder Danilo, with Palmeiras willing to sell him if the right offer comes along. We already know that Arsenal holds an interest in Danilo. The 21-year-old has been one of the standout performers for the Brazilian outfit in recent seasons. His form has caught the attention of Arsenal, who are thought to be keen on pushing through a move in January. Reports just a week ago had claimed that Arsenal were in advanced talks with Danilo. It's believed Edu is the one pushing the deal through. Of course, the Gunners have enjoyed success with the Brazilian players in recent windows. And now, according to ESPN Brazil, there is an acceptance at Palmeiras that Danilo will be sold. It's a claim that the South American side wants around £17 million to part ways with the 21-year-old. That sort of money won't put Arsenal off with the Gunners keen to build on their impressive start this season. Arsenal are known to be in the market for some new faces in January. A central midfielder as well as a winger are thought to be the top of their list. ESPN claims that Monaco and Ajax are also keen on Danilo though. That could put a small spanner in the works for Edu as he works to get this deal closed off. This one has rambled along for so long now that you feel it's going to get done eventually. Surely there is no way Arsenal lose out to Ajax or Monaco for Danilo, right? In terms of the player they are getting, Danilo seems a good fit. He has bags of experience already for his age and looks capable of making the next step in his career. 
for Arsenal, they will need him to hit the ground running if he arrives in January, anything less, and he will be no use to them in the title run in. Cristiano Ronaldo names the team he'd be happy to see win the title if Man United don't. Manchester United star Cristiano Ronaldo has said he would be happy to see Arsenal win the Premier League this season if his team does not. The Gunners are currently top of the Premier League table after a surprisingly strong start and they have a 5-point advantage over last season's champions Manchester City. Ronaldo admits he likes the way Arsenal play and that he is an admirer of their manager Mikel Arteta, so he told celebrity Gunners Piers Morgan that he'd be happy to have the North London Giants as title winners if his own side miss out, Ronaldo went on to say. I like the team, I like the coach, I think they have a good team, and if Manchester United don't win the Premier League, I will be happy if Arsenal do. Arsenal fans will probably be pleasantly surprised to hear this from Ronaldo, who might just have been being polite to Piers Morgan, though it's also true that it's hard not to admire Arteta's team right now. United don't look like being in the title race as things stand, so it perhaps makes sense that a Red Devils player would prefer Arsenal over Manchester City as a champions. Arsenal legend questions Gunners not signing Premier League star Yuri Tielemans yet. Arsenal legend Nigel Winterburn has commented that he can't see why the club wouldn't have signed Leicester City midfielder Yuri Tielemans yet. The former Gunners left back has made it clear he is a big fan of Tielemans and says it's a bonus that he is already proven himself in the Premier League. Arsenal surely need to strengthen in January if they are to build on this fantastic start they have made with Mikel Arteta's side currently sitting 5 points clear at the top of the table, making their best ever start to a Premier League season. The elements continues to shine for Leicester, but is coming towards the end of his contract, with Fabrizio Romano making it clear in his exclusive cut of side column that the Belgium international would not be signing a new deal at the King Power Stadium. It seems a no-brainer for Arsenal to try to move for Tielemans, and Winterburn sounded surprised the move hadn't happened yet, suggesting there is no reason not to go for him unless Arteta and Edu know something the rest of us don't. Nigel went on to say, Tielemans is a player that I like. The fact that he is played in the Premier League is a bonus because there is no surprises there. You know what that player is capable of and you just assess whether he can play the way Arsenal want to play. I'd be confident in saying yes to that question, but we have been linked with him for so long and nothing seems to have happened. Again, it's a case of let's wait and see, but it's definitely the type of player that we would be interested in for sure. I don't see why we wouldn't be interested unless Mikel Arteta and Edu know something different because Tielemans has real quality, that's for sure. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news show, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.